OG Fortnite. A monumental historic event etched into the history of our childhood. One that I will be telling my grandchildren about in fine detail. When I accidentally call my Bay 2018 Fortnite instead of perfect, that's more than perfect. But anyways, whenever people think back on OG Fortnite, we tend to think that it was way leagues better than the current state of whatever the hell Fortnite is right now. Snoop Doggy Dog, what the fuck? However, with this, people wonder, was OG Fortnite actually as good as we said it was? Or are we just blinded by nostalgia, by the good old days? And so so today, I'm delving deep in order to find the answer to this question. So stay tuned to find out whether or not OG Fortnite was actually good. I am Ebonic, like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy. Starting off, even though I may present some ideas about whether OG Fortnite was actually good or not, I'm just gonna say this shit at like season 3 to season 6 times were, for me at least, were, it, it was, was perfect. Perfect. Everything. everything. And yes, I may not have gotten Omega Lights. Fuck. But that's okay. I'm getting distracted. The point I'm starting off with, however, is that some people say it's not that OG Fortnite was good, but that we were just blinded by nostalgia. The wonderful joy of nostalgia. Thinking back to the times when you would get home on the game with your boys and getting a dub or two, or none at all. However, with some things, thinking back to these good times, was it the game itself that was good? Or was it never actually great? And since life is different now, the nostalgia makes you think it was. Now this here is an absolute great point. I'm sure there are some games that you would play now that just aren't the same as they were back then. But just hit different now that you're grown up and have kids and a full-time job and taxes and depression. And same maybe could be said about OG Fortnite. Now, me personally, I don't believe this for reasons I'll be explaining later in the video, but to be a good essay writer, I have to see both sides like Chanel. What helps with this nostalgia and what keeps OG Fortnite in a brighter light is the media impact that it had at the time. Like Ninja being the most obvious example, as he was one of the biggest streamers then, but now he's dragging the freaking low tape of fame. But we also had people like Ali A, Myth, Fearless, and C Day. Like, even people who didn't play Fortnite know who these people are. And nowadays, one of the only notable figures, in my opinion at least, are Nick A30. And uh, as he's falling out, he saw I was like kind of tired. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Now, yeah, some of these OG Fortnite YouTubers are still present, but they still don't actually do Fortnite. Damn, this guy still does Fortnite? Is this the same damn face in every thumb? But overall, an argument could be said about OG Fortnite actually not being as good as it was brought out to be, and that we are just blinded by nostalgia. However, to counteract this argument, I'm going to present another point. Modern Fortnite. Modern Fortnite is a complete contrast to the original release of Battle Royale. There are actually some clips that if seen by someone in 2018, they would not even be able to comprehend that it's even Fortnite. Like, what the fuck is this? Now, I believe there are two main points that make modern Fortnite mid. It's loss of charm and sellouts. Fortnite OG's charm is beautiful. Like, the little updates for the community, the goofy stories, and its beautiful art style. Like, this is Fortnite OG's art style, and this is the modern Fortnite art style. Look at this. The cartoony art style was gone. Destroyed. Look at how they massacred my boy. Fortnite had an iconic charm of its original season. Like, how everything was simplistic, yet the sophisticated environment gave it a unique personality. Like, who doesn't feel soothed by the original chest sound? Or don't even get me started on the OG Scar sound. Come on. Everything here has been washed out and turned into a more realistic art style, which completely tarnishes the whole charm of Fortnite itself. Now, the little updates for the community point, it makes sense since it was in early access. And if they added so many things, it would be too much. But it seems that within modern Fortnite, they care less about the community and the fans and care more about, well, right, I'm gonna say it. Modern Fortnite is a sellout fest. Collaborations in every battle pass, this multiverse waffle, and don't even get me started on this shit. It just turned corporate. It's like a YouTuber constantly telling you to subscribe, which you should do right now. Like, where's my silly, whimsical, goofy R R Fortnite man? Where's the brother eating Peely because that's the only way he can survive in a damn bunker? Come on, man. And yes, I know, there were a couple of collabs in OG Fortnite too, but the difference is, it wasn't just some skin in the item shop, it was something fun, something players could get some worthy dopamine from. Like Fortnite OG's Thanos game mode. None of y'all know about the horrors of being hunted down by Thanos in this game mode. Shit was true horror. But nowadays, yo, female venom. Doom event. I'm getting pissed off about this shit, man. I'm disappointed in this 
Ah. A flake of protein powder is trying to kill me right now. Jesus Christ. I'm disappointed in this game. As a matter of fact, thinking about it, where are all the cool special game modes that would be here? Like Flora's Lava, Solid Gold, the countless modes that were there. Nowadays, you would get lucky to see a different game mode just in the regular Battle Royale. And no, we are not talking about creative. I went on a tangent too much about this, but overall, I believe that modern Fortnite has lost the charm and the pride it was known and cherished for in the first place. And at the end of the day, it is night. Fortnite. At the end of the day, maybe nostalgia does play a role, but the OG Fortnite experience was truly unique. The community, the simplicity, the game's unmistakable charm, those things are still unmatched. Now linking this point to my previous point, there is a solid piece of evidence that makes me believe that OG Fortnite truly was great and that we weren't just blinded by nostalgia. And that point is the Fortnite OG season. Jumping back into the OG Fortnite map was something beautiful, astonishing. Finally going back to the original Tilted or literally Lule, literally. It quite literally was a complete replay of the good old time, but with quality of life changes like moving while healing, running and just better graphics. These changes enhanced OG Fortnite instead of changing and was truly a view into what Fortnite could have been if they focused more on their charm as they progressed. Now this here, this period of Fortnite's time proved not only to me, but to many others that it wasn't just nostalgia that landed us, but that we really did have it great back then. The battle pass, yeah, not the best, but no collaborations and it just being normal for once was a true breath of fresh air. Less really does mean more in this kind of game. To focus more on quality rather than quantity made OG Fortnite absolutely great, and playing the revamped OG was amazing. Doing sky base again, that shit's literally impossible in modern Fortnite, I've tried it so many times, and seeing my yeah, sweet baby Tilted Towers back in its former glory, oh my god. And can we not forget about how damn fun it was, like, damn! I don't remember the time I fully completed the battle pass and got all the extra shit. I was like that one motherfucker from Ratatouille licking the plate clean. Truly wonderful. And speaking of, you know what I'm craving? Some damn perspective. So let me give you some perspective. My perspective of after Fortnite OG. After playing Fortnite OG, I actually got back into Fortnite again and started playing it again. But the thing is, I just got bored. Bored, I tell you. As soon as Fortnite OG dissipated, my enjoyment for the game truly just got lower and lower. I completed like half the battle pass for the next season and tried to give it a chance, but in the end, the game just couldn't give me any entertainment. Overall, from my own experience and researching oh, others, OG Fortnite had a wonderful blend of entertaining gameplay, events, game modes, and other tiny hidden details that made it a worthwhile game to play. And that Fortnite OG returning proves that the game really did have a unique charm that's hard to find today. And revisiting it was like a reminder of what made it great and why so many of us fell in love with it in the first place. And that's something modern Fortnite has yet to recapture. So once again, let me give you some perspective. Fortnite OG and OG Fortnite was truly great. Watching the live event completing the battle pass, tried to get Omega lights, but what truly brought it together was playing with your friends, sharing your getting pissy when your one brain dead idiot dumb ass stupid once breaks the sky base. All fond memories kept together and fading to the sands of time. So maybe, just maybe, it wasn't OG Fortnite that was actually good, but that it was the friends that we made along the way.